I have lived for about 18 or 19 years in the mountains when I was a kid. So living here comes very, very naturally to me. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to travel to other places in the plains or near the coast or the beaches. So recently, I was in Manali again and some other parts of Himachal for close to two months. And in this video, let me take you along to some wilderness around Manali in the later part of this video and a brief visual summary of how it was to actually live during the monsoon or monsoonish summer this year. Sit back and relax. But you know what? There's one question which uh, a few people have often asked me. What do you think about the mountain life? I mean, do you think you can live here for a long? Well, 100%, for sure. So this time I decided to stay in a little bit different kind of a place in Manali, a place called Balsari. It's a small village with a handful of houses and buildings away from any kind of commercializations and hotels and homestays and all of that. I was living in a local property run by an uncle and auntie and uh, hosted by somebody else named as Manali Homeworks. Very, very peaceful location surrounded by a lot of greenery. Perfect and exactly what I needed for this time in my life. There is a beautiful feeling in living in new places. I mean, experiencing your own daily life in new places. To me, the whole essence of traveling is mingling with the local culture. Spend a few weeks over there, get to know their lifestyle, their way of living. Let that place grow into your soul. Experience the nature around in that place. Feel the mountain air. From what I have noticed, people in the mountains who stay a little less commercialized lives, they are very very happier compared to people living in the cities. But you know what is another very important point which leads to their happiness? It is, according to me, living in the moment. So the days pass by, some were cloudy, some rainy and some sunny days. I personally love the changes in weather, you know, it keeps my inner soul alive, I feel. But this time, Himachal faced a very, very harsh monsoon. There was a lot of destruction at a lot of places. For us in Manali, there was no electricity for about three days, no mobile networks. Those days were dark, gloomy. A bit scary to be honest, but during such times, you know, you really cannot do much except for surrendering to Mother Nature. Meanwhile, I got an amazing opportunity to meet Manav, who runs a brand called Kridas. We learned some amazing and necessary skills for independent trekking and hiking. I personally feel that you know, the wilderness is best explored either solo or with a small team of like-minded individuals. You know, one of the best things about living close to nature is that you can connect with the wilderness anytime you want. And for me, hiking in the mountain is such a blissful experience every time. The solitude, the coniferous trees, the forest, the meadows, the feeling of being able to, you know, 
connect with your own self ah man i cannot even imagine my life without these honestly so i went out very often so i've come out for a hike you know i was supposed to do uh, a lot more hikes but kya hai ki weather bahut hi unpredictable hota hai in the mountains <laughs> so today i thought let's let's take a chance so i'm uh, going through some beautiful trails kafi maza aa raha hai so wahan pe niche hai manali town thoda sa upar aa chuka hu main but nevertheless it's always a beautiful feeling to come outdoors go for a hike जिसको स्पीड हाइकिंग पसंद है वो स्पीड हाइक करे जिसको ट्रेल रनिंग पसंद है वो ट्रेल रनिंग करे बट इन शॉर्ट जस्ट दी आउटडोर्स देखते हैं आज कहाँ तक जा पाता हूँ माय टर्न अराउंड टाइम इज 5:30 और 5:40 फोर्टी अप्रॉक्स बिकॉज इट स्टार्ट्स गेटिंग डार्क फ्रॉम 7:20 ट्वेंटी ऑनवर्ड्स सो आई कम हियर जस्ट लाइक टू वीक्स बैक तब ये लैंड नहीं था दिस इज़ द रिजल्ट ऑफ द फ्लड्स एंड ऑल विच हैपन इन हिमाचल तो इसके वजह से जो रूट है ना थोड़े जगह पे जो ट्रेल्स है वो कवर्ड हो चुका है बट थैंक्स टू ऑल द थिंग्स आई एम लर्निंग सो आई थिंक आई बी हेडिंग इन टू द फॉग इन द क्लाउड समवेयर ओवर देयर The time uh, right now is 5:10, so I have around half an hour to spend. What a beautiful spot this is! You know, it always feels so amazing to hike, man, anywhere. Whether it's like a greenery uh, kind of monsoon season, autumn, summers, it's always beautiful. So, a lot of fog covering up in the mountains over here. तो काफी जा सकते सो दिस इज द वे यू गो टू लामाडोग उसके बाद खनपरी टिब्बा एंड देन ऑल्सो रानी सुई लेक सो द ट्रेल काइंड ऑफ गोज ऑन एंड ऑन कभी जरूर हम वापस आएंगे एंड प्लान करेंगे यू नो टू डू अ मल्टी डे ट्रैक टूवर्ड्स रानी सुई और समथिंग बट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एक्चुअली डू इट एन इवन वन डे स्पीड हाइकिंग बट मुझे ना मुझे कैंपिंग करके करना ज्यादा पसंद है सो आई प्रेफर दैट But yeah, the beautiful thing is, you know, there's nobody over here. Pura ka pura khali hai. And the last time when I came here, this place did not have so many bushes and all because it was uh, the beginning of summer. So abhi to monsoon ke wajah se bahut sare hai. And can you see these uh, small small flowers? Like, looks very beautiful, man. In the end, no matter how your present state of mind is, a day in the outdoors will always make us feel even more better in some way or the other. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video.